Hello, it's Farley. I'm doing my first off-trail video today because I want to share my strategy for doing a fast through hike. Uh, if that's not something that you want to do, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just putting this out here for people who uh, know they want to do a fast through hike or people who just want to see what doing something like that is like. I think the biggest misconception that people have about doing high mileage days is that you have to walk fast to do it, and that's just not true at all. Uh, your daily mileage comes down to how fast you walk, yeah, but also how long you walk for during the day. And it is way easier to increase how long you walk during the day. Uh, it's all about making efficient choices and it doesn't take any more effort to do something uh, efficiently than inefficiently when it comes to hiking. It's just making a different choice. Uh, so throughout this series, I want to uh, highlight some of the efficient choices that I make and that you can make too. And for this first video, I want to focus on uh, taking fewer stops throughout the day. Uh, the first tip I have for stopping less often when you're hiking uh, is just to walk slower. And it sounds counterintuitive if you're trying to do high mileage days, but if you just find that pace where you don't even have to think about how fast you're going, you're just uh, focusing on anything else really, just not trying to hike fast, uh, and you keep that pace all day, that's the pace that you want to go at. You don't want to be trying hard throughout the day, uh, at least to go fast. Obviously, you're going to have to try hard on climbs and things like that. Um, but if you walk at a comfortable pace all day, you're going to be less inclined to stop at the top of passes and catch your breath or stop while you're climbing uh, or things like that. And um, for me, I find that my, my all-day hiking pace where I'm not focusing on going fast at all on the PCT, it was 2.8 miles an hour, pretty much all the time. Uh, no matter where on the trail I was, it was always right about 2.8. And if I was trying hard to go quickly, it was about three miles an hour. So that's really not much faster, and it took a lot more effort to get up to three miles an hour. Uh, and over the course of a 15 hour hiking day, that only adds on three miles uh, for, for trying hard all day, and uh, that time can really be eaten up just by the extra breaks that you would have to take, um, stopping to get water more often because you're sweating more. Uh, and it also, if you're trying all, hard all the time and you're, you're trying to push your pace, uh, then you're gonna be more inclined to take more zeros and zeros too. Uh, so really pushing yourself hard all the time does not save you time on a through hike. You want to find a slow, comfortable pace that really feels like a walk in the park. Um, and that's going to turn out way better for you in the long run. Over the course of a long hike, uh, that's definitely the way to go. My second tip for uh, taking fewer breaks throughout the day when you're hiking is to eat while you're walking. And I think a lot of people already do that for most of the day, but then uh, stop for dinner or eat breakfast at camp in the morning uh, or even stop for lunch. Uh, and I don't think a three meal a day routine is the most efficient way that you can hike. It's just not necessary on a hike either. And I think it works out better if you trickle in the food throughout the day and don't rely on having these uh, calorie heavy meals throughout the day. What I personally do is I have a watch when I hike and it beeps every hour on the hour. And whenever that goes off, I just eat something, even if it's only a handful of chips. Uh, as long as I'm getting something in my system consistently, every hour works for me. Uh, it's a lot easier to stay ahead of your calorie needs throughout the day. So you never really end up bonking because uh, you have you have the amount of food that you need in your system already. Uh, you're not waiting for the next big meal to, to get all your calories in. And uh, obviously it saves time because you don't have to sit down and cook or anything. You just eat as you're walking. Um, and I know uh, a lot of people have a hard time giving up a, a dinner. Like they want to eat different food uh, at night instead of what they've been eating all day. Personally, I don't feel that way. I'm fine just eating snacks throughout the day when I'm hiking, but if that is something that applies to you, then maybe look into cold soaking. Uh, a lot of people do that already, and I've eaten, I've eaten ramen while I've been walking before uh, out of my cold soak container, and that works too. I've just found that I, I don't really need that as much anymore. 
Tip number three for taking fewer breaks throughout the day is to keep everything that uh, you might possibly need for the day's hike in the outside of your backpack or somewhere easily accessible. Uh, so that means if there's any chance that it's going to rain throughout the day, make sure your rain jacket's not inside your backpack. Um, I like to carry my Luco tape in my chest pocket uh, of my shirt when I'm hiking. That way, if I feel a hot spot coming on, I don't have to dig through my bag to get uh, the Luco tape out and tape up a blister. That way, you can you can stay on top of your hot spots easier too. Uh, if you don't have to waste a whole bunch of time going through your bag, you're a lot more inclined to uh, tape it up before it becomes a problem. Uh, and yeah, pretty much anything that you need throughout the day, uh, keep accessible. So if you have a big water carry coming up in the day, make sure your containers are in the outside of your pack. Uh, I keep my flashlight accessible too, and my Swiss Army knife, uh, and my soap for when I use the bathroom, I have that accessible. And you probably, or you might not know everything that you're going to need throughout the day already, but just keep in mind when you're hiking, anytime you have to dig something out of your pack during the day, just make a mental note of that and then maybe consider leaving that on the outside of the pack going forward. My fourth tip is to uh, not waste time putting on and taking off layers throughout the day. And uh, I think most people, when they think of that, they think of starting the day off cold and not putting on too many layers at the beginning of the day, uh, just because you warm up quickly when you start hiking. I find that I don't really have that willpower to start hiking in shorts when it's cold. Uh, so I've made some different changes to uh, tackle that same problem. What I do is I put on whatever layers I want at the beginning of the day. Uh, usually, if it's cold at all, I'll at least start with my fleece on, sometimes a wind jacket too. And when I get hot, when I start uh, overheating, I'll take, I'll take my uh, layers off while I'm walking and I'll just leave it uh, tucked in my shoulder straps, like at the bottom around my waist, and I'll just leave it there while I hike, uh, just dangling from, from my waist pretty much. And it doesn't bother me there, my backpack still sits fine, and uh, at the end of the day, once it starts cooling down again, or if, I don't know, you hike into a valley or something, it, it cools off, uh, you don't have to try and tough it out, you can just, as you're walking again, just put your layers back on, just uh, one shoulder at a time, take your backpack off and, and slide your arm through. And uh, for my legs, uh, if you watch my through hiking series, then you'll probably know I hiked in a skirt for the later half of the trip. Uh, and I really, I'm all on board with that now. Uh, it's a thin nylon skirt that functions like wind pants. Only if it starts to get hot or if the bug pressure dies down, you can just roll up the skirt and tuck it into your waistband. And it, it takes no effort at all. You do it while you're walking and you don't waste any time. Uh, and it keeps you just as warm. And that way you don't have to stop and take your shoes off to take your wind pants off if it starts to heat up. Uh, so th that's what I do to make sure uh, I'm not stopping a lot to uh, put on or take off layers. Uh, my last tip is going to be for when you do actually have to make a stop. So sometimes despite your best uh, intentions and planning, uh, and even if you're walking a comfortable pace, sometimes you still have to talk, uh, stop and take a breather or uh, stop and get something out of your pack or whatever. And my tip for that is just try to combine your stops. Uh, if you can make two stops uh, into one stop, then you're still coming out ahead. So for example, if, if you're getting really tired and you need to stop and take a break, Maybe just try and push it a little bit longer until uh, you have to use the bathroom or something and then take your backpack off uh, while you use the bathroom and maybe just that short amount of time where you're not walking is enough to uh, give you a second wind and um, yeah, allow you to catch your breath and, and feel good again. And yeah, if you leave something in your pack that you need, when you go to take it off, maybe dump the debris out of your shoes or uh, anything, anything you you would need to stop for, try and combine it with something else because uh, you'll save a lot of time that way just by reducing uh, that one extra stop. So these are the strategies I used to take fewer breaks on the PCT and they were vitally important for me finishing the trail in two and a half months. And that might sound like it is too fast to be an enjoyable pace, but I promise you it was way more enjoyable than 
uh, the four month Appalachian Trail through hike I did. Uh, part of that might be the trail, but I think a bigger part of it is that I was hiking slower every day and uh, just being more efficient about my time. So even though I was hiking a lot more miles per day, it was it was just really calm and chill and uh, yeah, fulfilling because I was also able to finish it quickly. And uh, again, I'm not trying to convince anyone to hike this way. I'm not trying to say this is the best or the only way to hike. Uh, but if you are interested in doing through hikes quickly, uh, my next video in the series is going to be about breaking camp and packing your bag efficiently at the beginning of each day because uh, that's also pretty important for uh, being efficient with your time. So uh, thank you for watching this one and I'll put that one out pretty soon.